most common things is that people don't have the confidence in themselves um, and they really don't know how to go about it the right way. Mm. And so, you know, what we try and do during the training is to talk about those things and to talk about the pow power that people have within themselves um, so that they can actually speak up for themselves, you know, and feel confident to be able to do that. And I guess sometimes also people have had bad experiences in the past where they haven't been listened to um, and haven't had their voice heard, so they're a bit scared to do it again, you know, so we need to make sure that we're listening to what people are saying to us trying to instill in people that they have a power within themselves you know so that they can be powerful people without being scared and also doing it in the right way so you know speaking up in the right way we can often do it in, in a bad way and, and people won't listen to us and walk away from us but you know if we tell people about doing it in a the right way in, in an assertive way then people will sort of feel that power and be able to go and, and talk to people and if they still can't do it to get help to get someone to help them you know not feel scared to ask friends or family or an advocate, a professional advocate, to be that, that voice that for them. And everybody in the room here is a human being. It doesn't matter who we are, what we look like, what language we speak, uh, what country we were born in, we're human beings. Human rights are for everyone, but sometimes uh, it can be hard to have our human rights because people try and take them away, but they're always with us inside. People with disability have human rights. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability, the UNCRPD. Uh, and these human rights uh, make sure that people with disability are not forgotten as human beings. We have laws in Australia that protect your human rights. The Australian Human Rights Commission. In Victoria, human rights are also protected through law. And we have the Charter of Human Rights and Responsibilities in Victoria. Victoria is the only state to put human rights into law. Freedom in the community, to go shopping, to have friends, to say, I don't like this government. E is for equality, to be treated the same as anybody else. So it shouldn't matter what country a person was born in, the colour of their skin, the language they speak, or their beliefs. The best advocacy is the direct support, finding out what the issue is and dealing with the issue. Remember we have rights, and these are some really important rights. The right to get advocacy support, to be treated with dignity and respect, to be treated equally. The Victorian Equal Opportunity and Human Rights Commission is a government service. Office of the Public Advocate, the Mental Health Complaints Commissioner is a government service. And you'll find that all these services have a way that you can make a complaint. We we'll start by everybody grabbing one set of pliers and one of the trays.领导下比如他不是领导我们的主管嘛对我挺好的他还特地用自己发的钱买了西瓜送给我让我感到安慰感到高兴是的好像没有把我开除一个特殊的病人一样来开不感恩就是感恩你们澳洲政府感恩澳
然后那个时候我真的是有点崩溃，然后因为这个突然之间的事情发生，我真的是那个时候真的很困难，我就是没有办法去，嗯，就是处理这个事情。当时我真的很感激我的一个心理一个专家叫 Judy 的，他就到来家来我家看我的时候，他就帮助我，就找到了就是嗯政府这边的各各种的 service 能够。帮到我，然后我真的那个时候是真的是没路可走，然后这个 Judy 就帮我，就是找了各种的 service 能够帮到我儿子的，然后就一步一步的治疗，到现今已经是十八年了，这个情况是越来越好。嗯，然后在这个当中，其实我自己本身也是一个嗯残疾的，因为我从小十八个月我就得了嗯小麻痹症，然后在这边以后，因为十八年当中。也没有得到任何的那种，就是身体上的那种帮助和就是资源，因为我一直在照顾我的儿子，所以我也就把我自己就是自己的身体什么事情，我也就没当件事情在在照顾自己，所以一直到拿到了的 NDIS， 我真的是深切的体会到，真的是现在这个政策帮到我了，真正的帮到我的需要，然后现在我也拿到了 funding， 也拿到了那个，嗯，这个在使用这个。方顶的同时，我也真的心里面很感激这个澳洲政府这个新的的这个修炼式的一个政策。嗯，在这个那么多年当中，我跟那个嗯 ADEC 这个 service 已经有很多的年数的嗯就是接触。嗯，从零二年吧，二零零二年一直到现在十七年，嗯，我一直在这个 service 当中受益，也是能够就是咨询到很多的那种嗯就是。各种的资讯吧，就是对，能够就是我们知道这个现在政府有这边有什么，嗯，就是能够帮到我们的，有很多的团体能够帮到我们的，嗯，所以我一方面是很感谢 ADEC 这个 organization， 然后我也非常的就是为我们的小组啊，为我们的小组，我们的 ADEC 的小组，嗯，我们是 Chinese group， 嗯，然后。嗯，一个是感谢，然后第二个呢，就是我们我们这个小组的愿望就是想，那本身呢，就是因为这个事情发生呢，因为那这么说吧，因为我从小就是脚不好，我腿不好，我小麻痹症嘛，然后从小呢，就是我也不知道，这股力量从哪里来的，就是我好像什么都不是很害怕，就碰到事情我不害怕，然后呢，我就觉得事情来了，我们就去解决问题，所以呢，我也很幸运的，就是说在这当中碰到很多好人。碰到很多愿意帮助我的人，所以可能跟我的信仰有关系吧。就是，所以我就说，当我有困难的时候，我就有一种无形的力量会帮助到我，那困难就解决了。然后呢，我用这种这种力量呢，就又去帮助到别人，就是这种一个循环，就是一个正向的循环，一个正能量，就是，然后就是说，也能体验到别人的就是困难当中的需要，就是说我就会鼓励他们。他们从他们的就是以后的接触当中，他会告诉我说：“你能行，我们可能也行吧，就没什么好害怕的。”因为，所以说我就觉得，就是人与人之间的那种爱吧，就是就是这个世界就是想要博爱，要有爱去帮助到人，就是我觉得，对爱能遮盖一切，爱能就是嗯谅解一切，爱能够嗯使一切都变好，就是把这个世界变得更美丽吧。啊 ，very 啊 ，very happy， you know this time、mm。-hmm. 嗯，我我这次能参加这个 group， 我觉得就是知道了更多。以前可能就是没有那么仔细，这次这次就是很有，就是系统的，对系统的，然后是很每一节每一节都有都有详细解释的，那就我觉得学到很多，对，能够在我的今后的生活当中能够更使我自己能够更得到帮助。然后我会通过我知道的，我可以朋友去可以跟他们去宣传也好，跟他们去解释也好，我就是我有一点经验了，就是这种，就这个经验也就是也是来自这个 i d e c 吧，他有这个一个 course， 就是一个学习，让我知道更多。嗯，就是最重要的就是，嗯，一个就是 self manage， 就是你自己怎么，嗯，就是照 self care， 就是你自己怎么照顾你自己，然后自己怎么管理你自己。其实很重要。当你自己都管理好了，能够把自己，嗯，生活中各方面的事情，就是家庭的事情、社区的、邻居的事情，如果都能搞得就是很妥的话，那么就是说
，你你就是能更帮助到别人，那然后呢，自己就心里面更有力量。但是男的我就很难，还是多我的。我一一一慌我就什么都忘了，<笑>所以说中文，中文，嗯、呃，从中国来的，然后我来了已经二十五年了，嗯，我，哎，我和我儿子一起过来，因为我，哎，我，我上次在这儿先是不是留学的嘛，哎、啊，然后我们到，哎、啊，到这儿来刚开始的时候，很多压力，因为我们。没有英语，不知道怎么去，呃，找工啊，读书啊，都不知道。然后，哎，因为要生活，所以我们总是想办法去找工。那个时候最重要的，就是哎，但是确实我们对这个社会什么都不用了解。嗯，还有就现在我就说，我我去啊，啊，我自己的情况，啊，那然后我。后来就是，嗯，经常找零工，开始的时候找零工，然后，嗯、呃，做了很多地方嘛，应该是，然后到最后我就是做的是，呃，就是 nursing care 的这个 ，educate 是吧？嗯，那个 work， 就是后来就受伤了，嗯，然后就是，哎，就是那个时候就觉得压力。特别重，因为就是出去也不是，哎、啊，对，出去也不是很方便，嗯、脚啊什么，就我们我也不知道怎么办，就是，嗯嗯、哎，就是压力这个时候是很重要，嗯、因为你出又不出去，又在家里，因为我又是脚一会麻掉，一会手麻掉，就是说出去很不不方便，但是我们确实不知道怎么去联系谁，我也不知道。那个时候真的压力很大，所以说我哎，经常看心理医生啊或者什么，就一直在治疗。So I have a younger sister who has an intellectual disability, and so she needs a lot of care and support. Um, and also my parents, they're from China, so they immigrated here to Australia around 25 years ago or so. And so I guess there's difficulties in language for them, and as A sister, as an older sister, I'll have to t- take care of my younger sister by like helping my parents translate things and、um, going to meetings with them. In terms of family,、um, my sister would be the main focus because she does need a lot of attention and help.、Um, so I guess sometimes, like I might feel a little bit neglected, but like it's, I guess to me, I think it's normal for that to happen. Because with my sister's intellectual disability,、um, there can be lots of symptoms. For example,、um, sometimes she might just, you know, have a burst of temper and just, you know, erupt all of a sudden, and like it's hard to keep her calm. And I guess that makes life difficult sometimes. Adex always helps my sister coordinate her NDIS plan, and so we found out from our coordinator. Uh, support coordinator that there was this mentoring program. So that was a really good experience to learn about, like the experience of other carers, and to be able to know that there's other people、uh, around here that are experiencing like similar things to me. Like I felt like I found a lot of comfort and support from that. Self advocacy. I had never thought about that before. So being able to know that you know we have our rights and that we can. Like we should be able to speak out, and like learning the skills to speak out as well. Self care as a carer was very important to me、um, because I think in the disability sector, I guess like the focus is of course on the dis- person with the disability themselves. So I guess the carers are usually neglected in some way. So I thought that this program was really special in that it focused on the carers. That helped a lot. And、um, just learning about the self-care, like how to care for ourselves, because I feel like personally, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> so just being in like a small group where we can, you know, have fun talking about all these different things and like sharing our experiences with each other, I think like that's very, like it makes me feel a lot closer to being as a carer. Yeah, I have never like really shared my experience. 
of being a carer with other people before other than my family. So just being able to do this and having people who understand what you're going through 